Good morning. It's February 1st of 2024, and uh, we are doing a short video to demonstrate that the things that you're seeing work. Thing number one, uh, Nikon F2 body uh, with DP1 prism. Uh, here I have it mounted with a 50 F14, uh, which is number 688. 995. Now, this might not be the lens that is mounted on the body when it is sold. I'm just testing it on this body, and I will test others, including the one that will be mounted on the body when it is sold. So, uh, we're starting just bracketing a couple exposures uh, with each of these lenses. Uh, it is overcast here. I've got 400 speed uh, Foma pan in here, uh, which I will be developing in AccuFine, and uh, so I'm going to give it about uh, 5 6 of the 250th uh, with a one shot reciprocal over that. Uh, so uh, uh, let's call it 8 uh, uh, at uh, 120th. Fun fact, if you wear a cap and the cap goes over the top of the prism, you can't see the data because the window is uh, uh, given to you through a skylight that needs the light of the sky. And if you're wearing this cap like this, it won't work. You're going to flip it around. That's why you see people, especially Nikon people, wearing their caps backwards. Next up is a uh, Nikkor 50mm F14, number We are in Gloucester, Massachusetts, in East Gloucester specifically. There's a lot of uh, lobster shack. And uh, now we're going to mount a, another Nikkor 50. This is uh, Nikkor 50 millimeter F14 number 5260629. This one is mounted with a Hoya 52 millimeter UV parenthetical zero filter. Now we're going to get into some different things.
So with this kind of chore, you have to take the good with the bad. And this is definitely the bad. Uh, M-I-I-D-A is the brand name, Mida. I'm going to venture a pronunciation. An automatic F2.8, 28 millimeter, uh, which bears a serial number of N0720149. Waiting the linkage. Once again, with this we're going to go uh, uh, 2 50th and 5 6 uh, and then uh, 4 and 5 -hundred. Vivitar is known for making bad lenses, with the exception of Vivitar Series 1, which I'm not certain, but they're made by another manufacturer, I think Sigma, uh, and they're pretty nice. However, this is a Vivitar Auto Vivitar uh, F35 135mm. Now, uh, it is serial number 4108133. Um, I don't give this much of a, a, a pan simply because it is really hard to mess up this lens design. The 135 millimeter lens design is as old as dirt. Uh, this is essentially the same optical system within it as you would have uh, from ear, uh, lenses from uh, the uh, mid 50s onward. Damn. Now we get into uh, a couple of things um, which are more interesting. Now once again, all this stuff is cold soaked. This has been in my car overnight and it is freezing out here. Now uh, when I say freezing, I'm not just saying freezing like, oh burr, I'm cold. I'm saying free freezing as in 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, this is a micro Nikkor 200 millimeter F14. I'm sorry, F1 colon four. Uh, serial number 181698. Now this is a uh, more modern optic. Is it has the cut in the mount for uh, the non-AI systems, and it uh, uh, is going to F32 for its tightest aperture. Um, the optical system in this particular lens is all in front of the aperture. So all the glass is up here. So uh, it's, it too is a pretty old design, but it's so nice. Um, it's got a built-in hood. Alabama, baby. Yep. So this is a passerby talking to... Uh, uh, me about my dog who's in the car and uh, we'll give you pictures of him later. Now, uh, once again, a receptacle of 250th at 5'6". to note about waterfront photography, uh, if you're doing this, you want to wait for the uh, 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 the wildlife to cooperate, uh, uh, especially the seagulls. So, when you see a gull sitting there on that post over to the left, you might be able to see it. You just make sure that he's in the frame.
So that last lens was a uh, internal focus design so that the front element does not move in relationship to the subject. This is really good for close-up photography if you don't want to uh, just interfere with the subject, uh, especially if you're doing like bugs on flowers, things like that. Um, this is a different design. This is a 200 millimeter Nikkor Q Auto F4. Uh, this one serial number 483652. This is a much older lens. Uh, this I looked it up was from 1961, I believe, and um, uh, it's built like a tank. This thing is just metal all throughout. Um, there's you know very few plastic components to this. Um, it is bearing a ProMaster 52 millimeter UV. Yep, upset dog. Uh, UV filter. And it's not the kind of uh, uh, focus system where it's all internal. This here, as you can see, extends up quite a bit. Uh, it too has a built-in plate. This is a message to all who go to a camera store and the salesman behind the counter tells you, you need a protective filter over your lens. Bullshit. <laughs> okay. I've just been looking through this lens and wondering, why is it so fuzzy? Why is it so foggy? Why is it so low contrast? And so I took a couple shots. Now I have the filter off. I just look through it crystal clear because this is garbage. You don't want to put inferior glass in front of a technically excellent optic. You don't want to do it. So uh, you weigh the price of inferior images against the off chance that you might be clumsy enough to drop this thing on its face. Don't. Put a strap around your neck, put it on a tripod mount, don't drop it on its face. I'm throwing this away. So, so all of these items have uh, a, a provenance of being in the collection of uh, a gentleman who was a forensic engineer for many years and he treated this stuff really carefully. So uh, it is not abused, it's been kept in a uh, room temperature, uh, dry environment in its entire life. So uh, uh, that's why I just had no problems with taking this out in the field and just getting right into it and uh, taking some shots with this to illustrate to you how this works. Now I'm going to go back and develop the film out of this puppy and one other. I'm going to pause and show you that one other. the other uh, Nikon F body. This is a Nikon F, not an F2, uh, and it supports the number uh, 6861129. Um, it is uh, uh, with the um, TN finder on there, um, which is the classic chrome front F. It doesn't have the photomic, uh, uh, you know, little window up here. It's doing TTL here, but uh, it's a very nice looking, you know, doesn't that look great? So anyways, here we go. Uh, this again, sporting the uh, uh, Nikkor S 50mm 6.88995. Uh, it's important to note that this model here does not have the reflective window that's going to tell you what the aperture is. You can actually know what you're doing. Um, uh, they're color-coded on the lens, and if you know your lens, if you know your equipment, you know that when it's dead center, it's at 5.6. That's Nikon's you know, path to uh, least resistance. So it works. So if I have that pin center and I can see that, I know we're at 5.6, so let's just go.
Now, this is also a uh, really robust light tightness test for this body because uh, I um, had a piece of film about Ye Long with its spool that uh, had been torn off of a clip test um, and I loaded it without a cartridge in the dark. So we'll see how that goes. It, it'll definitely be a really good test of the light seals on this body. Because I loaded this differently, I'm just going to take a few more shots because. It's only got like six frames in it. So, I thank you very much for walking. Uh, 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 M-I-C-R-S-A-L-E is the username and uh, well, have fun.